Channel 5. Troy Williamson defends his British Super Welterweight Championship against the pretty boy Josh Kelly. Who wins? Find out Friday, December the 2nd, 9pm, live and free on Channel 5. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife for saying completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session. This is Coogan Cassius for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. It's about, I don't know, 8 o'clock in the morning here in uh, Newcastle. I'm joined by uh, Troy Williamson. First of all, mate, how are you feeling? Feel good, mate. Uh, obviously a bit uh, broken from the defeat last night, but live to see another day. And yeah, I might be, might be I come out um, unscathed and healthy. That's the main thing, really. Absolutely. Let's let's talk about the fight from last night. Kind of in two halves. The first six rounds of that fight. How did you assess that? <clears throat> Frustrating. Uh, more than anything, I, I, I knew that the first six were going to be like that. Um, trained for that, got awkward sparring partners for that, and we had perfect sparring partners. Um, trained really hard and smart. Uh, I thought he'd slow down, and he didn't. He obviously kept up for 12 rounds, and he was just hard to nail down. I couldn't, couldn't, couldn't get to him. And then obviously into the kind of the later rounds of of the fight, um, did you feel that frustration again uh, going into the second half of the fight? Yeah, he was like you say. He was obviously he was just, he was the same from round one till round twelve, which I didn't expect, and not many people did expect that. A lot of people thought he was going to fade, but obviously fair play with me. He boxed, he boxed brilliant. Um, just he was too good and too sharp for me on the night. Since Josh's defeat to Avenician, he's had a, a couple of fights in in between that, but this was deemed as a bit of a risky fight for Josh to have taken uh, by some people uh, because we didn't. We haven't kind of seen uh, the best version of of Josh since that. So, but you preparing for Josh, you would have prepared for the best version of him, and yeah, and it weren't to be your night, but that was a, a very good version of of Josh Kelly last night. Yeah, like I said, obviously fair play with me, box brilliant, stuck to the stuck to a, a brilliant game plan, and, and that was just to obviously make things awkward for me, and not not obviously just box me really, and that's what he did, and he, he kept it up for twelve rounds. Um, obviously, I prepare for prepare for the best of any opponent, but I think I got the best of Josh Kelly last night. Obviously, without watching it back, I don't know whether you go back and watch fights like that. Um, obviously, not having been in this situation uh, before, but what do you think? Just judging back from last night, you could have done better yourself in your own performance. Uh, four more punches. Um, but obviously, when when you're for your punches, he's making you miss and he's hounding you. So I, think I was a little bit hesitant. But yeah, um, I'm, obviously I will watch it back. Uh, I'm not I'm not one to not watch things back like that. So that's obviously that's how you learn. And uh, yeah, I'll go and watch it back. And uh, but I think that's what I could have done better by just thinking in my head I could have thrown more punches. You, you always think you can do more, but I think I I've done as much as I could do on the night. If, if I, I don't think I. Uh, I think I've done all I could on the night. For the last few years, every time I've interviewed you, we've always spoken about you wanting that kind of fight, that big, big fight, which you got last night. It weren't obviously to be your night, but there's no reason for you to be disheartened. It's just about moving forward and and kind of getting over this defeat and, and cracking on. Yeah, definitely. I think a win last night that would have um, that would have changed changed my life. Um, to be honest with you, not like. So I think they like, not change me as a person or change like change anything else or like change who I hang around with or anything like that. I think it's just popularity, um, revenue, things like that. I'd, I'd have been um, I'd have been a cash cow. So I'm a little bit obviously disheartened over that because yeah, I think a win last night would have uh, would have definitely elevated me up there into like an elite an elite uh, fighter. Great support for you um, in Newcastle yesterday. Uh, it seemed like all I could hear was kind of your fans, probably because I was probably sat nearer your your fans, very vocal, uh, very supportive. So I'm sure you appreciate that as well. Yeah, definitely. I, like I was thinking, I was sat up. I haven't had a wink of sleep last night. I just couldn't sleep, just couldn't settle. Um, I was thinking last night, I boxed. I had my debut 2016 in Edinburgh, and I took 160 people, um, close friends and family, and still to this day. 
them 166 people have been to every single fight and the following just got bigger and bigger and bigger. I've, I sold around 11, 1200 tickets for, for this fight last night, so it's gone from 160 to 1200. Um, so yeah, I'm really appreciated for everybody's support. Um, what a huge following and I'm, re I'm really humbled and obviously it's, it's all love. I love everybody that pays their hard-earned money to come watch me. Um, I wouldn't say I'm a, uh, what's the word? I don't think I, I wouldn't say I've let let them down. If any, if anything, I think me, me and my coach that's the only the only people that I've probably let down. Um, but obviously, I've had a lot of beautiful messages that I need to get through. I, I won't it'll take me a couple of days to get through them all. Um, but yeah, the, the the sport's still there, and I think it'll follow me to all my future fights. It was um, a hugely anticipated fight since it was announced, and. You could see the buzz around this fight, obviously compared to any fight you've been to it was for, for this, not just for this neck of the region, but just in boxing. It was, uh, it's a shame this fight really landed on the same week as like a Fury Chisora, which is on later today, because it deserved its own kind of week in, in some respects as well. But like I said, it wasn't, it wasn't to be a night, but I'm sure you'll be back in the gym and you'll re regroup. Yeah, I'm gonna have a short break. I've uh, got a few, few little problems. Uh, so I'll have, short, I'll have a short break and then get back into the gym um, and we, we, we move from there. But yeah, the future is bright. I've got plenty of big nights ahead of me and uh, looking forward looking forward to it. Just finally, obviously, a few things obviously said in the build-up between you and Josh now, but now you've had the fight, it's just it's respect and that's just, just the fight game in, in the build-up and that now the fight's over, it's just, yeah, you, you, you guys respect each other. Yeah, the respect was always there, and to be honest with you, I said to him after the fight, it was all banter. Josh is a great kid. I used to travel to Sheffield with him, go on the train with him, speak regularly on social media. It's all banter to, to build a fight, and that's exactly what it did. It built the fight, sold all, sold all them tickets to the people that in, in attendance. So, yeah, uh, we shook hands afterwards, and yeah, I'll, I'll drop my message later on. But, um, yeah, fair play to Josh, He's, and respect to him, he's a, a great fighter. He boxed really well last night. OK, well, listen, I appreciate your time this uh, cold uh, Saturday morning uh, here in Newcastle. Have you got anything else you'd like to add before we finish, mate? I just want to like, uh, thank everybody that comes out to support me um, and buys tickets from, from, from myself and from all the North East fighters because without them, the show wouldn't have went ahead. Thank you to Wasserman, Sowell and Brothers and Pro Berlin for putting the show together and all my sponsors. Um, without you, without you guys, I wouldn't be able to fulfil my potential. My, my potential, and one day I will become a world champion. So obviously, with with the backing that I've got, can't see why I can't do it. So thank you to everybody, um, and yeah, let's go, baby, Team Trojan. Troy, I appreciate your time. Uh, I know it's not the the easiest interview uh, you would have done. So yeah, appreciate your time this morning, and uh, yeah, head up and just go again. It's simple. Well, it's not simple, but you know what I mean. Yeah, that's it. Um, too many fighters hide away from defeats. You don't see them on social media, you don't see them in interviews, but how, like, it's life. Like, you have blips and you have downs in life, so you just got to bounce back. That's how you bounce back. Um, you live to see if, live to see another day. Um, yeah, that's all I've got to say, really. OK, like you said, as long as you both come out of the ring uh, healthy, which you have done, yeah. Uh, Troy, thank you very much, and uh, we'll definitely catch up with you again soon, mate. Thank you, Kevin. See you soon, mate.